All right, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Um, it is very, very uh, rainy today. I feel like every time I film a video, there's like something going on. Either it's snowing in the winter or like raining in the spring or summer. But anyways, today we're taking a little road trip to uh, St. Catharines area. Um, it's because I got to pick up some car parts. Tomorrow I got a appointment booked at Eurocharge to do some crazy installs. I can't wait to share that video with you guys. That video will come after this one, so stay in tune. But today we are going to pick up the carbon fiber spoiler for my car. Now Honeycomb Motorsport uh, sent me this part. I am very, very grateful. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, Honeycomb Motorsport is founded by one of my buddies, one of my best friends uh, from school. They sell all European, Japanese, domestic uh, car parts. Now I'll leave all my products links in my description box below. So make sure you guys want this part for your A3, S3 or RS3, you can go check it out. He's just a phenomenal person, hard worker, and one of my best friends as well. So now this company and him is someone that I could trust. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to work with um, him and this company uh, in the future as well. So, you know, it's about 45 minutes, an hour drive. So let's head on the road right now. One of the most, I guess, beneficial thing uh, that I can think of right now is actually ceramic coat your windshield. Look at this. It is pouring and um, I'm not using my wind wipers. It is, the rain literally just flies off my windshield. It is the most convenient thing ever. So if you guys are thinking about ceramic coating your car or you think coating a, co a whole car is too much, um, make sure you get your windows coated first because this is one of the most convenient and beneficial thing for your driving it is just you know once i got this done i can't live without it six and a half hours later all right boys we finally made it back to the shop this spoiler looks freaking insane dude oh my god i cannot wait to show you guys oh my god let me just put it on oh my god you guys ready for this oh my gosh you guys ready for this this, okay, before I show you guys, this spoiler, um, it is insane, okay? It is very, very uh, aggressive, but it's not, I guess it's not over the top, I should say. So it's not a, a one of the most common things, uh, I guess I see with the RS3 is that the M4 kind of a low kick spoiler where they kind of have a pointy uh, edge. And then you have your traditional ducktail, which is what I had on the S4, but I thought, you know what? It's time to step it up. And I'll show you guys, and I'll talk about uh, it, why I guess this fits this car, the shape so well. You guys ready? There we go. Ooh! And look at this. This looks freaking insane, dude. Gosh. Obviously, I still have the uh, the factory one, so this is, I literally just put it on top just to show you guys, but look at how aggressive that looks. Oh my God. Like, it just fits the, the body shape, the line so well. Oh my God. This looks freaking ridiculous, dude. This looks insane. Full carbon fiber. Um, it's actually really, really good quality. So I'm gonna put this down on the table first and um, I'm gonna rinse the car off because it's really, really dirty. I'm not gonna wash it because it's still raining outside, but I need to, I guess, just rinse it off so we can use the heat gun and a fishing line to kind of take the old one uh, off. And then we're gonna spray the car down with some rubbing alcohol, that area to clean it up, make sure it's um, fully dry um, and uh, free from all the oil and stuff. And then we can lay some 3M tape and put it on. So. Let me put the camera aside and then let's get to work. Oh my God, that actually took 
quite a while. I didn't expect to take that long, but I guess the OEM take from the factory uh, is it, pretty sturdy. She, she was on there good, but now we have all these residue left. Um, I suggest that you obviously clean them and take it off, but I mean, you don't have to, you can just put it over, but for me, I always clean it. So you guys can use any sort of, I guess, goo gone or anything like that. Uh, at the shop, we have like a solution uh, just to, uh, I guess, dissolve the glue, but you guys can use goo gone and stuff like that. Just let it soak for a bit and, um, and uh, just, uh, scuff it off, I guess, with the microfiber towel. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And as I was doing this, um, you know what? I thought I would share with you guys a little, I guess, tip or trick. Um, so if you guys can see, I already finished, I guess, half of it, the glue. Um, and the other half I still gotta do uh, for very strong adhesive. Um, you know, it's sometimes, a lot of times, they are still quite sticky. Um, and they're not kind of like falling off into like a flaky type of form. They're still, you know, 3M tape at the end of the day. So what you gotta do, obviously spray some Goo Gone or any sort of dissolver uh, to help loosen the glue, but also grab yourself a microfiber towel like this. You want to wrap it around your thumb. Uh, do this, your thumb and your skin will thank you. Trust me. And you kinda just wanna kind of roll um, to the opposite direction. You see, the tape is actually kind of rolling on itself. Um, this is a way easier uh, way to do it rather than trying to you know pick it off because you're trying to uh, using the same uh, stickiness and kind of just fold them over uh, and you guys can see uh, they do break so the stuff will just break you just keep cleaning it off and wrap it around your thumb and kind of just you know push it over like this you see they're kind of just uh, folding on top of each other and just keep doing that it makes it a lot easier um, and it also doesn't really hurt your uh, fingernail or your thumb so I'm gonna set the camera down I'm gonna finish this right now I'm gonna put it on oh my god I'm so excited to see how this properly looks the car latch just looks so funny without like a carbon spoiler especially the high kick one I'm gonna put you guys down and let's do this all right before we put it on again the trunk is all wiped down, the spoilers all wiped down, it's 3M laid out and uh, heat gun. So right now we're just gonna find the fitment and then we're just gonna push it out. So you don't wanna push it down right away because you kinda wanna find the fitment first. And, yep, so you gotta go way. This side's pretty good. This is aligned. So it looks pretty good to me. Yep. It's pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna need one before we press it down. Just wanted to see. Oh my God, this looks insane. I am so, so happy with the outcome. The fitment is pretty good. The shape, just, oh, let me show you guys. Ooh -wee. Oh my God, she looks so good. It's so aggressive, but at the same time, it's not hideous. This is exactly what I want it to, to be. It's aggressive, but it's not hideous. You know, it's not the point where people go, what the heck is that? But that high kick looks pretty good. Oh my God. It literally transformed the car so much. Now, let me rinse her off. I'm gonna pull it outside, give you guys a little cinematic. And I'm gonna talk about a little bit of why I chose the spoiler and um, you know, why it fits the overall shape so well.
Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? All right, boys. Finally, I had to wash her a little bit and then brought her out. It's still a little drizzling, but I had to switch up the fit on you guys because who knew uh, at the end of April, it is still like eight degrees out and raining. So anyways, I mean, sh it just looks so good. I hope you guys enjoy that little cinematic. But so I guess right now I'm gonna take you guys through, I guess just my thought process on why I chose a spoiler um, and why do I think, you know, this suits a3 s3 rs3 uh, body style the best so i'm gonna turn the camera around and uh talk to you guys a little bit more so if you guys can see this spoiler in my opinion just fits the best for this body style no matter what angle you look at i think the best angle to look at it is from here i mean it just looks so freaking good so for me the thought process was i had i guess three different styles first one was the same as my s4 which is a kind of a duck tail or duck lip um basically it's a it's a nice smooth line with a high kick or there's a lot of the i guess the bmw m4 style with half the little triangle poke uh, on the side and then this one this one is actually very hard to get uh, i haven't really seen too much online but for me why i think this suits the best is because if you look at the car right i think the s3 or the rs3 the car itself it's much smaller um, and narrower body than the s4 or the s5 if you look at the car you can see for me the car it's a much more sharper line so the body has a lot a lot more uh lines than the s4 if you look at uh from the, this angle if you look at the line here and just the line everywhere down here it's very has very sharp line but for me the s3 or the rs3 always i think it's a little bit too tall i guess i don't know if that makes sense too tall and not kind of wide enough for um for this body at least for the rs3 so for me choosing a spoiler that kind of complements a body style matters the most to me so if you look at this spoiler from the dead back you can see that it has more of a sharper line than the your traditional ducktail and also the spoiler kind of focuses whoever's looking at it the attention to the top so it has a very very sharp uh angle so this way it makes the sh uh, car looks a lot a lot wider and less i guess tall and chunky and uh, that makes sense so for me a spoiler kind of the back end really complements or change the body style a lot and as i said earlier it really complements the shape of the car makes it a lot less chunky kind of focuses on top and kind of spread the car out a little bit if you see the spoiler that's the whole point of it um it, it, it definitely spreads the the attention sideways because there's so much angle on top and you kind of have this nice and slope so if you look at it from the back it's a lot more wider makes the car line of the spoiler fits the line of the car very well and it's just so so aggressive and that's why i love about it it is absolutely absolutely fantastic in my opinion now spoiler or diffuser or any sort of cosmetic things is really really personalized and it's really up to you know whoever is modding the car so you might you guys might not like this one you guys might like some other style but for me i really really like it the fitment is pretty good i wouldn't say it's on point but you know for what it is it is pretty good um carbon obviously and i'm gonna get a carbon diffuser and a carbon lip and a carbon side skirt coming very very soon for my good old trusty sponsorship from ecs tuning so that will come in the next i guess month or so so i'm very 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 excited about it but yeah i mean you know i just wanted to show you guys a quick install if you want this product go to my description box below and check out the link um you know as i said fitment is okay it's not like on point but it will do for now if i do find a better version um, or honeycomb uh, finds a better version that will definitely let you guys know as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video smash the likes button if you like it if you loved it subscribe to the channel you already know the drill i'll talk to you guys next time